What makes Iran so special? The architecture is impressive. I love the bustling bazaars. All bridges light up at night. I feel safe. The food is great and the people are the most hospitable in the entire world. <laughs> this country has so many misconceptions and the only way to really discover the truth is experiencing Iran. Really beautiful. Here is my friend. I'm here in Tehran, capital of Iran. I have uh, 20 days to see the country. I'm gonna go to Esperan, Kasha, Yazd, Shiraz. When I first told my mom I was going to Iran, she said, but this place is dangerous. And I asked, based on what, media? According to Vision of Humanity report, in 2017, the year I traveled in Iran, the country had six terrorist attacks and nine fatalities. On the other hand, USA had 56 incidents and 64 fatalities. I have never felt unsafe and all Iranian people were really kind to me. I'm here in Sa'ed in Tehran oh, and this is the local bread. It's called yes. Taftun. Taftun, yeah. yes, exactly. They're making there in these ovens. Yes. They put like four each time and it's very fast. Yes, yes. Her bread is around one minute. Or less than just a one minute. All right. I'm here in Fakil Bazaar in Shiraz. And I met a girl from Italy and she's traveling alone in Iran and it's super safe. So you can yes. come here. <laughs> a lot of things are illegal in Iran, but do not take it too serious. Iran <laughs> is an Islamic Republic since 1979. That means that most of the rules are based on religious guidance. The list of illegal things in Iran are really mind-blowing, but behind the scenes, the new generation of Iranians <laughs> live an open-minded <laughs> lifestyle. What are we doing today? Swimming pool party? Yes, we are going to. Where is the swimming pool? We go to rent. Iranians are incredibly hospitable with foreigners. Masu Charimi from Shiraz. I'm a photographer. Oh, wow. Before arriving in the country, using the Couchsurfing website, I have received 60 offers in the capital. I had literally 60 houses to sleep for free. I even felt a bit uncomfortable sometimes that they didn't let me pay for some things. Let's talk about some of the rules. First of them, do not wear shorts in the streets. It's not a law, but you will be stared and it's not respectful. Maybe someone will complain and will, you will not be able to enter many places such as most. So be kind and wear pants. Selling, buying or consuming alcohol is prohibited in Iran since 1979. But after a few days traveling there, I discover many of the Iranians make delicious homemade alcoholic beverages. Tattoo artists are regularly arrested in Iran and sentenced to fines, lashes or even imprisonment. While there's no specific law against tattoos, the authorities yeah, strongly they, reject they, 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 them as a Western <laughs> phenomenon, harmful to Iranian values. I did a tattoo myself with a local artist in his secret apartment studio. I wrote the word kindness in a traditional Persian calligraphy, Merhabani. <laughs> It is very important to bring US dollars cash to Iran. The banking system is not connected internationally. That means ATMs won't work for you. A 500 kilometers bus trip cost me only 3 US dollars. To move around the city, I recommend Snap. It's like a local Uber and the price is really reasonable. Iran is the country with one of the most severe internet censorship. That means that some websites are blocked, such as Facebook, YouTube and many other social medias. You should download VPN before arriving in the country. You can get easily a SIM card in MTN Iran cell, either in the airport or in the Iman Khomeini metro station. 
that's it guys if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button and subscribe the channel share it with your friends social media yeah. <laughs>